So hey guys, it is Monday and you can see Bear back there. He's so cute. Bear! Bear! Oh, he's not gonna listen. But I woke up this morning and Kenda came knocking at my door because I had it closed. And she brought down this picture of me as a baby in the bathtub downstairs. I don't know why she brought that downstairs. So I have to bring it up downstairs. But yeah, so I woke up and I did make my bed already, kind of early, but I did that. And then I was watching the videos of Kenda and I went up and tried to eat, but we're kind of busy, so I didn't eat yet. I'm going to do that in a minute. And tonight, but tonight I'm really excited because we have our school meeting, not, not meeting, I don't really know what I'm saying, but our little school award ceremony, except it's online, you know, because of the virus and all that. So it's online and every grade level does it, except the seven, the grade sevens and eights do it a little bit differently because they're older. So yeah, and you're gonna get lots of different awards. I'm so nervous because I don't know if I'm gonna get anything because I did really good this year, but school got cut out early and everything so i don't really know if we're gonna get anything this year and also we got our report cards the other day for our third term but i, I was so upset we didn't get any marks like no percentage like no 97 98 like no marks just it just basically all of them just said allison did good and I was like, oh, so on, all that online school was for nothing. And we only got comments in, like, social studies, math, science, English. Like, nothing in gym, nothing in healthy living. Like, nothing like that. So, that was kind of disappointing. But we did pass, which is good. I'm so sad because I had great teachers this year. And I was doing so good. And I really wanted to do the little grade 8 graduation and go to that little dance prom thing. It's not really, like, like a high school prom, but it's just similar. So now we don't get to do that, and we don't get to go on our special tours of the high school. So I feel like all that online school is for nothing, but I still got it done, so they're still probably like, Allison's good. So we have the awards ceremony tonight. It's not in person, obviously, but they're going to send us a YouTube video. I don't think you guys can watch it, because I think they're going to send it like a private email. But I'm excited, because last year... I got, oh, what's this thing? This is my most special thing last year. I got a medal, which is a citizenship award. I don't know how well you can read it, but citizenship award. And I got it just so that I did really good. This came in for a certificate, and I got to go up in front of everyone and get it for the principal. And then there's also, like, admin and other important ones, like gold scholar. So, I don't know if I'm going to get anything this year. I'll just keep it right here. And this medal is just a kid's red one. I think I got one of those. And then last year, I also got the level of honors, which I do think I'm going to get again. Because a lot of people get that. Either that or you get the high. Either that or you get, like, the higher honors. Or you get nothing. And I'm not going to get nothing for that, obviously. Because I have good grades. Even though we didn't do much. But I'm so confused why our report card didn't have grades. And I know they are like, the online school didn't have enough credits and stuff like that. But a lot of the stuff that was on our term two report card was stuff that we did back in, like, December and January. So did we do nothing for, like, February and March? I'm so confused. But other awards that I got, I did get a French award, which makes sense because a French teacher loved me and I was really good at French. That, and I kind of had a feeling about that. But I also got... A family studies award. Which was just really confusing because I did horrible in family studies. So family studies this year was cooking and it was so much fun. I'm so glad I got to do it before this whole quarantine happened. And we got to Miss Teka, which was amazing. Because I, I just don't like the woodworking. It scares me. I get stressed about it. So I'm glad we didn't get to do it. <laughs> but we 
did get to do the family studies, cooking, which is really fun. We made so many good things. It was really fun. Like, we made, um, we made coffee cake and chicken fajitas and hash brown, like, potato and pizza and donuts. And we just made a lot of good things. Oh, it's spaghetti. Yeah. Just a bunch of good things. My dad ate some of them, but I ate some things. But anyway, that was fun. But last year, it was a nightmare because it was sewing. And I was the worst out of anyone in the whole class, except me and my friend, Ashley. Like, we just stood there like, oh my gosh, this is so hard. Like, we were so behind. Everyone else was like, I'm doing a fifth project. And I'm like, I'm stuck on this beanbag. Like, <laughs> it took me forever. And the teacher was no help. Like, she just was sit on her computer all day, and she didn't even know our names. And that's what makes it funny, is because she didn't choose it, like, oh, who she knew, who she was a good student, like all the other teachers. She looked at the marks on my projects and been like, oh, Allison Thomas, yeah, we'll choose her. So that made me laugh so much, because we did, like, three projects. We did a beanbag, which I have. So here was my beanbag, and it was bigger than everyone else's. Everyone else had, like, this little tiny one. And then I came in with this, and everyone's like, Whoa, Allison, your beanbag looks like a pillow. And I'm like, yeah. Because I've been working on a smaller one for months. Everyone else is on their final project, and I'm stuck on the beanbag, which is the easiest thing. It was so hard, though, because I had to figure it out. And everyone else, just they didn't want to help me. The teacher's just like, we're not going to help you. So it was so hard. And I was working on a cute one with, like, yellow with butterflies and then pink. And then I did a Peppa Pig thing that I tried to do, but I didn't get it done. So my teacher was not helping me. So I snuck home during April. Well, not, not snuck home, but I snuck the beanbag home. And my aunt from France was there at the time. And she did my beanbag for me. We worked on it. I also did a teeny tiny one her as a practice and then we did this one <laughs> with fabric from home because I was like I do not like family studies she's like what are you doing I'm like a beanbag and she's like okay I'll help you so we did it and I snuck it into school I did help with this but she helped me and then we did a seam sample which I do not know where that is I have it but it's really nothing exciting it's just like a fabric that you had to flip over and sew the inside it was really pointless and it was on the sewing machine which was my worst enemy or nightmare I just could not do it. So one of my friends did it for me. And then we had to do our final project. And there were so many things you could choose from, like wizards, frog. You can make a blanket. You can make a purse. You can make a lot of things. And the hardest one is the frog. And for some reason, I chose that. I was struggling all year. And then at the end of the year, I'm like, I need to get a quick project done. I don't know why I chose the frog. Because so my two other friends were doing it, but they couldn't really. Well, one of my friends did it, and she kind of helped me for a little bit. And then she had to do something else. So then it was just me and my other friend. And we had to struggle. Like, we struggled with it. We didn't even know how to set up the sewing machine. And it looked like a mess. Like, I got it all the way stuck in the sewing machine. It looked awful. And then eventually I did, I tried to get it, and I had to, like, at one time I'd be like, listen, you guys, I know you guys are in tech ed, but you did family studies early in the year, come up with me to help me figure this out. So my friend helped me. And here is the frog, and how I think that looks weird, because this was supposed to be all soft and fluffy, but I did it the wrong way on the sewing machine, so now the bad way is out, and I have white on the bottom pink eyes and I had it good for a while but I needed to sew it up and the edges were kind of like messed up on it and I looked pretty bad so my I brought it home to my mom and she fixed it and then I took it in and I got a 10 on it which is like all these other people had to help me and I got good grades even though I had no idea what I was doing the whole class I was quiet and scared because I didn't know what I was doing but here's the frog inside out but he's just so cute I do love him though he hangs out on my bed and you back there, you're a memory. And I just thought it was so weird that I got an award for that. But anyway, we're going to get awards tonight. And I'm so nervous because I really want to get something and I want to do good. So oh, I'll, t I'll tell you guys later. And I think if we actually get an award, like a medal or something, I think they're going to send it in the mail. Which is cool. But yeah, I'm so nervous. But I'm excited. So I'll update you guys later. I've been playing episode for a while, but the only thing I don't like is 
why isn't there an in the middle option? Because everything that's good costs diamonds. And you have to read 20 chapters to make one good choice, which is kind of annoying. And I don't like it. Oh, I got a gift. But, yeah, like, you need 20, like, I, I, I have to wait so long just to get some diamonds. I kind of wish there was in the middle of an option so it's not a complete, like, bad or crap choice. <laughs> crappy choice, but, yeah, so I've just been playing it and I've been spending most of mine on that one. And I'm trying to save out for it right now so it's frozen, but. Yeah, so that's what I've been doing there. I could show you guys some of the baby eyes that I've been looking for for three months. Actually, it's been like six months. And these are like the last three. Well, not the last three, but these ones I'm planning for. And then I'm going to have like the perfect baby eyes that everyone loves. I'm going to like be so excited. And then after that, I'll just get one randomly if I feel like it, but I'll have a good, perfect amount. Oops. But anyway, this is one of them that I've been looking for. Maybe I'll get it, like, on Amazon. It is the baby, the Snack and Luke brunette doll. He's so cute. And I just really been wanting him a lot. Um, I wouldn't name him Luke, though. I was thinking, I don't know if I want to say the names, but... I was thinking if I could get him, okay, I'll just say it. If I could get him, his name would be Owen. He'd be twins with Emma, and I could do a cute story about that. And the other one, this is another one I've been looking for. Sorry, you can't really see too well. And, but it's the finger paint baby in blonde, and she's also very, very cute. She just comes with so many cute accessories. Oh, that's not her. That's also not her. But if I got her, I would name her Willow, and she'd be twins of Holly. And this is the last one that I've been looking at. It's the Baby Alive Ballet class, and she's really cute, and she comes with a bunch of cute accessories. And if I got her, I would name her Lena, well, Angelina, but we call her Lena. And I would put her in my wheelchair that I have, so she'd be like my wheelchair baby. That's not her. That's the blonde version of her, Leah has her, and she named her Lydia. Yeah, these pictures, oh, that's her. Yeah, that's what I've been looking at. I'm so sorry about this. Weariness, but I've also been looking on Amazon. I look on Amazon all the time. I never buy anything though because I don't have like a card. But I've been looking at um, Playmobil advent calendars because this year we really want some again. And these two are actually the ones. But they're really expensive. That one's like $68 and that's in $61. And they're really expensive and also. So me and Leah want this one. I'm it's I don't it's um an ice skating set with the family and the animals. We don't really know too much of what's in it, so we're trying not to look at it. But that's the one me and Leah really want. It's expensive, but we just we really want that one. It's so cute. I've seen I haven't really seen a lot of it, but I really want that one. Me and Leah do. It's kind of expensive. Sorry, Kenda's screaming, but so we really like that one, so we're thinking about... Well, that's the one that we got. And yeah, I always look at advent calendars. Like, that's the one that we got last year, and my mom thought $31 was expensive. And so we never ended up getting it on Amazon, but we ended up getting it on Indigo, which it's chap it's chapters. It's a bookstore. We love it there. And that's where we ended up getting it. So I <laughs> feel So if it didn't go on there, we didn't know if we were ever going to get it. So that's what I've been kind of like, mm, I don't know. And then that's the one I got the very first year, which is the Advent. And we didn't even plan for that one. I was just randomly looking on Amazon one day, and this was on sale for $20. So I told my mom about it. And she was like, oh, that's so cool. That's a good deal. So, yeah. And then I want one for Kenda. So last year, Kenda got, um, I wonder if it's on here. Yes, it is is this one, Christmas in the Forest, which came with all this cute stuff that she really loved. And it'd be perfect for our family vlogs too. And then this year I found one that's so perfect for her. It's one, two, three, Christmas on the farm, which is awesome. She'd love that. She loves farm animals and all the cute little figures. And she played with them all the time. I have them saved, but she would love that, except it's also like $60. So those are the ones that we're really hoping to get, but. Hopefully, since because it's just been a bad year and we didn't get to do much, we'll be able to get them. 
so you can help. I'm just so nervous and excited for tonight. Oh my goodness, I don't know when they're going to send the video because it expires like the next day, so I'm going to have to watch it. But I'm really excited to get it, so hopefully we can get it soon and I can watch it so I can see if I got any awards. I'm really hoping for that. So we've had our pool set up for a few days. Well, it's been like two weeks now. We've had a lot of fun with that, and we've been swimming in it a lot. And the other day, um, my friend Diane came over for the first time in a long time since quarantine. I've been able to have a friend over. So she came over for a little bit and swam, which was really fun. And then Leah recently had two friends. The day she had like McKenna, and then a few weeks ago she had Katie. They were both really nice, so we've had them to swim. It's been really fun. We got some new floaties, which are just these round things, and I can't fit in them. Well, I mean, I probably could, but I get nervous, so I don't fit in them. But we just hold on to them and play with them. Pool water's not that deep, so it's good for Kenda. Yeah. I've been thinking about doing a Shopkins collection recently, so I might do that. Shopkins are up there in that bin, so I might do that. And also I'm going to be doing a Baby Live video. I've been thinking of doing a certain skit for a long time now and I haven't done it yet. It involves April and August. So, me about that. So I might do that today. Hey guys, so it's the next day. I have a slime, but... Um, yeah, here's Kenda. We're just playing with the Playmobil Nail PS. And I had the award ceremony, and I actually did so good. I got all the same things as last year. So I got the French Award and Family Studies Award. And I also got the citizenship again, so I'm going to get more certificates and another medal, which is so exciting because it's kind of a big deal. And also, instead of honors, I got honors with distinction, and that is just amazing. So my great, uh, like average is like a 95, so that was so exciting, and I'm really happy. So we're just going to hang out for the rest of the day and probably not do anything. It's kind of cold out today. So hopefully in a few weeks we'll be doing something fun. I know we're going on a vacation soon and be sure to look for updates on our family vlog channel. Because that's coming soon. Well, it is here. It's the Thomas look Family Life. baby stuff. Yep. <laughs> She's so cute. And yeah, we're doing that. And I've lately been thinking about fixing my vlogs because my vlogs are not very good my old ones because they're really short so what i've been thinking is i will make another random vlog compilation delete a lot of the old ones and then put them together in a video so they're not getting deleted forever but i'll put them together so it looks good and then if i have a whole series like for example the wildlife park all those vlogs i'll put them all together so i think that's what i'm gonna do and then i'm gonna number my vlogs and put them together for real so some of them are gonna be left alone but most of them are gonna fix so thank you for watching this video be sure to like subscribe comment if you can and we'll see you later bye Thank you.